Now that we have discussed how plants produce carbohydrates through the processes of photosynthesis, it's time to talk about how the plant transports these once they're produced. Translocation systems can be thought of the highway system for the plant. The highway system that the plant uses to transport sugars is called phloem. Translocation, or the movement of carbohydrates, minerals, and water throughout the plant, without translocation, plants couldn't grow or get taller. Translocation of sugars occurs in the phloem, and it's called sourced sink movement. Sugars are taken from their site of manufacturing, which is the source, or where they're being stored, also called the source, to areas that they need to be used. Those areas that the sugars are being used are called a sink. Where they're produced, it's called the source, and where they're needed is called a sink. Think of it as where the plant is using these sugars for growth. Some examples of sources are mature leaves that are photosynthesizing. Examples of sinks are roots, since roots do not photosynthesize, developing flowers, fruits, leaves, and seeds that need these sugars and carbohydrates to continue their growth, and the growing regions called the meristems at the stems and root tips. This is a graphical representation of sources and sinks. Again, sources are mature leaves. Sinks are areas that are not photosynthesizing, such as young leaves, flowers, which will develop into fruit with seeds inside and roots, which do not photosynthesize. Seasons affect plants in many ways, one of which is where the plant gets their sugars and carbohydrates. For example, during the summer, the plant is photosynthesizing usually at very high rates. That sugar can be used to produce flowers and fruit and also develop roots. In the fall, many plants become dormant. Before the plant becomes dormant, all of the sugars produced in these mature leaves is going to be stored in the roots. That means in the early springtime, when the plant needs to start growing, they can use those stored sugars in the roots to begin growing new leaves. In summary, early in the spring, the roots are the source of stored energy, which moves to the new leaves to fuel their development. In the fall, leaves are the source. Sugars are moved to the roots to be stored through the winter and used in the following spring. Until next time, have a great day.